round two. Um, okay, so this is what happens when you get basically you switch around the team and see how they do. Okay, so let's have a look at the team, see what's going on. I think Blue's got something going there. Might be a little bit defensive, but they have got a few guys switching it around a bit. Red also looking reasonably balanced. So, I don't know, I'm not sure what to say here, but Blue has the skill, but can Red pull it back? Yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with uh, the skill on Medic's team, or uh, Blue's, Red's team, rather. Um, but, yeah, I think some of the might have been worth perhaps different players going for different classes I think not to you know downplay the medics there but I think they could have done with perhaps another one just for that last point okay doors open blue are kind of out there okay look at blue moving up nicely actually they got quite nicely on that cart Oh no, who was that spy? Carl. I mean, I looked at Carl. He was going for that medic. I thought, yes, we're going to get this guy. And then suddenly he walked through the heavy. And then, oh no. Fat man. Um, and then minigunned. Good attempt, but, you know. Nikolai going for some very, very sneaky tactics there. Oh, so where is he, man? Sorry. Nikolai right near the back there, um, back near the final point, just jumping, uh, rocket jumping, going over the small wooden wall there, because that actually does connect to the first spawn. Oh, right. Yeah, that is some weird, tricky tactics. Uh, in any case, though, Greba on the cart with Gable WB, getting that thing pushed up. And that's points. Seven minutes, good times here. I think you know, Stardust that opted out of his uh, sandwich tactic and decided to go for boxing heavy. Yeah, an improvement, but may need the stake to make that properly work. I think just an honourable mention to Stardust just for being such a cute player. Yeah, you get more cute. Basically, says the uh, you know, Duchess set, and you know goes from there. <laughs> now, from the looks of it, you know, Red really haven't got the defensive legs on. Well, they haven't got a defensive mindset. They're, they're kind of playing the mobile game and haven't really got a defensive line going. Yeah, although that said, this time last round, I have a feeling that um, Blue last round managed to push a little bit faster than Blue are now. So um, Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, not many guys on the cart. Although, yeah, they're getting around pretty quick. But yeah, I don't know what's happening. Blue are kind of everywhere. Red is, n is a bit non-present. Absentee team at the moment. And Admittedly, half yeah. of them are dead. So. Yeah. Well, okay, now look at the blue card. I mean, that's getting up. Now, this is where the last team kind of got stuck. They, you know, this is where we saw red team suddenly transform into a beautiful butterfly of defensiveness. And, um, you know, they just slowed them down completely from here. But can this blue team get up and going? But, and there's an Uber. Way out in front. That's vanguarding like a vanguarding to the limit there. Red are trying to defend. There's a spy, Kuroneko there, on fire. Um, not having a good time with it. But here's the thing, in all that time, Blue was not pushing the cart. Now that was a cardinal sin right there. Yeah, I mean at that point they could have been getting to the second set of uh, yellow stripes here on that first little upward verge there so yeah they really didn't take advantage of that and pretty much all of them were alive as well yeah and Mikolai there nice work just getting on the cart just shooting everybody around it any small classes on there but yeah Red are coming back and you know this was a golden time for Blue to really get in there kind of fortify up the front and make sure they could get near the cart but nobody decided to sit on the cart there's no point killing off the Red team if you're not actually going to achieve the objective it's in the kind of reason why that actually red teams are well defensive because they have no way to win the game arbitrarily. You have to kill the enemy team. It's not a pleasant place to be in. <laughs> Stardust, trying. Trying more. He's a bit indecisive his role as boxing heavy. 
Decides sandwich is the best idea. No, nope, he doesn't. Yes, lunchtime is best time. Unfortunately, Sniper Jinry there tries to go for him, and well, that's over and done with. Now, okay, Blue finally got back on the cart. I think Red's defences have caved a bit. Yeah, what happened here, do you think? Um, I'm not sure, really. I, I think, really, Blue might have just taken that as a sign to have a break, really, rather than keep going. Yeah, maybe it just came at the end of the advance. They kind of died off a bit, and Red just simply filled in the gap. I mean, it is something that we see all too often. You know, a cap gets a point gets capped, and everybody just leaves the cart because, oh well, we've got another five minutes. Let's just chill out for a bit. Yeah, fun time. You gotta be careful of fun times. Oh yeah, and who's on that? Who's taking out the cart? I think that's CC Nine. Nice work. Gets on that cart, keeps it down the hill. Ooh, arriver there using the back burner. Um, flung off the side of a cliff. Yeah, it seems to be quite a uh, quite a gentle push. I mean, it seems to be maybe three or four players on either team doing all of the legwork. I'm not sure where everybody else is. Yeah, Red are kind of coming back, but they're not coming back like the previous Red team. They managed to really hold it off. But this, this Red team is looking a bit sparse, a bit spartan. Somebody's using a mini sentry on Red, which is... N you don't do that. I mean, they're, they're good on a blue team, but you really want level 3s up here and there. Get one of those things up, and yeah, that's business. Junior there. Uh, take that sentry, unfortunately falls down the corner pocket and dies. Actually, that uh, sentry placement there that Junior just took out, if you can get a level 3 up there, that works really, really nicely because it covers both angles and it's within line of sight for both of them. That's a really good option if you can get a level 3 up there. And really tricky for their men to get. They have to come around that side quite a bit and on the slope. Not an easy place to get to. Okay, we're really beginning to get defensively good at this. Seeing actually a level 3 blue sentry, quite rare on a blue team. They don't usually bring those out. But look at the cart though, they managed to sneak it up there pretty good. However, it's sliding, still sliding, and there it goes. All that work gone, and you know, mini sentry there, peppering that scout annoyingly. Yeah, you know, red team's just on that. Unfortunately, you can't really push the cart. That team's way too close. You need to get a good old-fashioned Uber in there. Yeah, and at the moment, uh, Gabriel using the vaccinator, it does seem to be working quite nicely, but, yeah, it's not going to do as well as a normal Uber would. The thing is, the vaccinator is great in smaller games, especially in standard tournament games. You've basically got two explosive classes, two bullet classes, and you don't get a flame class. So it's great, you have a few things to pick from. But in this game, it is, it's not so good, because there's all the different bad damage types coming to play. Even arrows. Yeah, like you like you say uh, quite often, it works very nicely for countering a crit Krieg, but you know, for me against a crit Krieg, an Uber's always going to be the better option because you'll still be able to put out good damage and not die at all. Speaking of uh, best best pony damage, um, CC9 there throwing out the Uber, just push up blue team, but maybe a bit late. Now it's eight minutes on the clock. Who do you think you're going to favour here, man? Um. It's difficult to say. Blue are doing a nice job of keeping themselves at the line of the cart, but they're not pushing it. And Red are doing a nice job of keeping Blue in uh, in check. So, yeah, difficult to say. They've got a good amount of time, though. So, I yeah. think Blue could be in with quite a good chance at the moment. Yeah, the thing is, though, we're not seeing like special tactics from Blue. No significant... Oh, there goes the crit demo man. Oh, he just failed. Now, that's, you know, what happened. Um... Oh no, he didn't. But the problem was, though, you can't really use the crits demo in attack. It doesn't work so well. You don't know where, where the defend. You should know where the defenders are, but if they've got a wide area, it doesn't work so well. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if they, if Blue were able to flank with that crits and sort of get around the side, come near the uh, red spawn, that would have been an ideal one because that would have shut them down for a good thirty seconds. But yeah, at the cart point. It doesn't seem like Red has got everybody pushed up, so it's not the most viable option. 
Now the thing is here, we're seeing a blue team that's kind of steadily pushing up, but they're not really getting into the swing of things. And that's what happened to the last blue team, to be fair. They just didn't get in there. They kinda, everything kind of petered out. Stardust Crusader there, I don't know what he was doing. I think he was playing the distraction game. Well, I know he can play as well as Gary Luther. <laughs> you remember that game on the Spires. That was an insane moment of heaviness. I think the thing that uh, Gary Luther did differently to all other friendly heavies that we've seen so far is he made the friendly heavy tactic work. <laughs> seldom ever happens. You seldom seen rarely useful heavy. Yeah, friendly heavy. But yeah, it, oh, there goes a the bluebird. It kind of got stuck in the hole and it came out of the window. Not the best easy you know, exit point. But. In a baffling move, the Shadow picks up the sentry. Now, maybe it was to avoid the nades, but a lot of them missed. That w he, he was running the gamble that they might have actually been able to keep it up. Yeah, I think that actually might have been uh, his undoing by picking it up, trying to save it. Yeah, no, you might want to actually lose the sentry and keep the rest of the engine gear going and build that sentry up real quickly. But yeah, blue in there now, taking out sentry is looking good. This is their best time to attack, but red need to buy some room, get that sentry back up again. I think for me, in areas that are quite close knit like this, when you are playing an NG, uh, rescue ranger is always a good option because people are going to be attacking just where the sentry is. The engineer isn't the main focus of any sort of Uber or anything like that. So if you can pick up the uh, pick up the sentry and move it into a little bit of more of a secluded area, that works really nicely, and you can repair from a distance. That is true. I mean, we I think I said one legendary used the rescue ranger on a push map. That was an insane thing. I uh, one of the um, Badland, uh, Bad World Basin games. That was an insane pickup. Anyway, though, look at this. Like red are coming back a little bit. The cart is on the final stretch, but blue just aren't there. Now, in my opinion, I think the way they need to break this deadlock is number one. They need to get like a heavy out there. We've not seen. We've seen. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, I think he's gone, but I think he'd be able to G. I can't remember. But. You know, he played a reasonably good heavy, and you know those guys really work if you can make them get in there and get underneath that bit with no sentries around, make it heavy, put an Uber on it, just generally suppress the area, and here goes the crits. Zasher again. He kind of made the magic work a little, but it's just not working the same way on the attack. Yeah, it was nice use of it, but I think it, yeah, it's sort of a case of you have to pop early to be able to survive uh, getting through there, and... Yeah, it kind of doesn't pay off. By the time you were in the main room here, yeah, it just kind of peters out a little bit. What well, from the looks of it, things are going down on red. Can they? Can blue keep up this offensive? Ooh, nice double jump from Jinry there. Now the shadow there just did not notice the soldier at all. Now that's that's where you know one of the skills heavy lies: awareness, knowing what's going on around you. Yeah, heavy is really one of the best classes for being able to quickly hit someone and there we go yeah shadow just getting taken out but like I said yeah heavy is a really really good choice if you want to be able to quickly lay damage down everybody else you know you've got reload times things like that if you can turn fast as a heavy you can kill fast oh kits are there heavy he's moving in can he clean up he's looking good versus the mini but he's a heavy he don't care why did he run away what did you do that was the worst possible moment and he left the medic unchecked there as well, so yeah, that wasn't the most glorious of pushes. You was the chosen one. <laughs> you had a medic and everything. You, you could have. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Kits is back with another Uber. Come on, now push, push. Get in there. Kill. Right. Your second chance of redemption here. Get in there. You can do it. Heavy up. Okay, okay, he's winning. Look at him go. That's how you do heavy. Give zero fucks. Just keep firing. <laughs> now the rest of the team are getting in there. This is good. This is why you need heavies. Did he buy the time? Oh, it's a pyro. Oh, what a nice steal there from red. Just, just rinse that. But where was the blue team though? Because to be fair, I mean, he, he th that had red on the ropes here. This was the best time to take them down. They just did move in. 
Yeah, it was definitely nice heavy work there. I mean, you know, even when the uh, when his medic got taken out, did not care, just carry on firing. Yeah, people forget that about heavy. You can seriously and fuck people up if you really want to. <laughs> but now Red is scrambling here. We just seen demos everywhere and sentries and all that kind of stuff. I think another good Uber can win this game, but Blue Team need to get in there as a group. I mean, Red Team, look at them. They're on the back lines. They're, they're really trying. They're playing peak shots here. And everybody's on the train on the car. It's tricky. Kits has not noticed the Pan Soldier there. Um, you, you do need a bit of awareness. I'll tell you one player who um, has really, really been putting out some really nice shots is a uh, homeboy there playing sniper. Seen like, you know, good 10 headshots go go off in the past sort of couple of minutes. So Actually, he's yes. really been paying his dues. No, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, unfortunately, he's not one of the underappreciated class in the commentary, partially because you focus on the action and their guys are off camera most of the time. There goes an Uber. It's on a, it's on a demo. Can you make it work? Stuff blowing up. Things are getting destroyed. Where is blue team at the moment of triumph? I think they're everywhere. It's looking good. Uber versus Mini. Oh, stabs! Oh! <laughs> Carl! Oh my god! He's one man holding the cart. Ham! Oh, what a finish. <laughs> Just. Carl tried to save the entire game, but good effort, but man. 